Hello, welcome to Family Sociology. My name is Steve Miller and I'm the faculty for this particular course. I want to give you an orientation of how to navigate to get everything you need for this course. In this video I'm also going to demonstrate how to access things, how to post a journal, how to do a test, uh, all the things you need. But also we have a orientation quiz that's due on January 28th at 5 p.m., no later, but the access to this quiz is in week one. And I'll show you where it is and how to do it. But it's based on the information I provide in this video plus the information that's on your syllabus. So please make the point of downloading and printing your syllabus and completing the quiz by the time of the 28th at 5 p.m. You can take as many attempts as you like. Now, because one of the things that's really important that I should mention is this course is an asynchronous course. That just means we don't have a specific class time to attend where we will all get together at one time. In fact, asynchronous just means that you can take this course anytime you like, any time of the day, any day of the week. Now, having said that, and you might even be getting this little sense yourself, that's gonna require some time management. And yes, of course it is. So I have posted some resources that might help with that. Now, the other thing I should make note of is that you have access to a student portal. Now you'll see I've posted a couple of images. One is showing you the student portal, which you can access from the Georgian College website. And then secondly, is a place where you can get some support for hybrid and remote learning and there might be some resources for the for you there that will be really useful so I would really recommend doing that in light of all of that please make at least three hours of time available for this course as you do for all your courses and ensure that you've put your times and dates and due dates in a calendar that will ensure that you won't miss anything and it also ensures that you won't be asking for extensions because I cannot provide them unless they fall within the college policies and regulations. And that is also on the web page and on the syllabus. So I would really encourage you to look at that. All tests and assignments need to be completed on the dates and the times provided. Okay, so you have to make every, every effort to do that and I will do everything I can to assist with that. Uh, with you. Okay, let's get moving here. Now what you're seeing so far and have been staring at while I've been talking is a institution page. We're using a new Blackboard system but only partially and it's called Blackboard Ultra Nav. So those of you who have coming back from first, first semester in the fall won't recognize this as easily. What you're seeing way over here is what is the nav. So these are all a different view than what we used to have. Now I suspect, I don't know this for sure because I can't see the student view on this page, that your Blackboard support and assistance and stuff will all be related to students rather than faculty that mine has. But I want to point out to you as you come way over here to courses, click on that, and it will take you to your courses. Now these are my courses and not your courses. But we're going to go to Family Sociology. Now this is what looks over here more like what you're used to, but this may not look like what you're used to because this is a faculty view. I'm gonna put it in a student view. Now you're seeing only what's available now. This video is being made and I haven't populated everything, including an announcement yet. When you come in here on Monday, you'll see this announcement saying watch this video, the orientation video, because you need to do a quiz and I'll have some other things there. Now over on this side, I've limited the things you need to access to only the places where I've put things, so it should be a little easier to navigate. There's just really two places you need to go. As soon as you get into the shell, like what we've just done, any announcements will be listed here. The other one is the how to contact Steve. Let's check that out. Now that's how you contact me, is through my email, steve.miller at georgiancollege.ca. And please, when responding to me or sending an email, only 
use the Georgian College email. I am not allowed to respond to student personal emails. That comes from the Ontario Privacy Commission. Now my access time is basically um, I can answer emails except on Wednesday. Wednesdays I make more videos so I don't answer student emails I just make videos. Now all emails that you send to me must have a subject. Every email must have a subject, your name, and which class you're in. I have close to 200 students and I teach four different classes so it's hard to know when you ask me about a, you know, an assignment question but don't tell me which class you're in. I don't know which assignment you're referring to. So that must happen. Now should you want to make a virtual meeting using WebEx, I'm happy to do so. Email me asking is this time and date good for you. If it works for me, I'll reply with yes this works and here's the link to my WebEx room. I will open that room five minutes before the, the time and date that we said just in case you're there early. Okay, let's move on. Now the only other place you really need to spend, well there's two places. One is right here. The syllabus, uh, sorry, weekly learning based on your syllabus is where all content for this course can be accessed. Where the videos that I make for the content, where the journals are, where the tests are, everything is right there. With the exceptions of your grades. Your grades will be showing up here by clicking on it. I won't click on it because I am not a student and it won't show grades. So let's go to weekly learning. Now in weekly learning, this might look more like what you're used to seeing from the fall semester for returning students. It might not look as pretty. Um, there are some features that we can't do as what we've been able to do, but at any rate. So what I've said is weekly learning based on your syllabus. Your syllabus is blocked out into 14 week segments. So if we look, there's week one, week two, three, four, all the way down to week 15 sorry 14 and each folder is labeled as to what's in the folder anything that's red lets you know there's a due date there's a test a journal an assignment or something that you should be aware of regarding this course and your responsibility for example under syllabus and uh, assignment and journal folder you're going to find your syllabus plus a video explaining the syllabus same with your assignment and journal there's a semester planner which is just really a simple way of organizing what gets done by when and then your course outline and this is kind of like our contract as well it gives you the opportunity should you pursue your post-secondary education let's say in a different institution and you're required to take a course that you think sounds a lot like this one, this course outline will help you in trying to either uh, determine with the college whether or not you need to take that course or not. You could be exempt from it. So let's have a look inside of this. Now, I'm gonna scroll past the first folder. I'll come back to that in a minute. There's your syllabus. It's the PDF that's above the video. So the PDF, you just click it, there's the video, there's your syllabus, you scroll through it and all the things that you need are right there. Now, I would prefer that you would either print or download that and watch this video. It walks, it's me giving you a screen recorded message about what are the key things to remember about the syllabus. Now the assignment, it's a low income quintal assignment. Basically it's a poverty uh, assignment where you're gonna be in quintal one, the lowest quintal and that's, that will be explained in the assignment further if you download the PDF and watch this video. Now I do mention in the video and in the um, assignment that there are some resources that you need. And here they are. I've listed them in red as to what you need for this assignment. These are resources to help you with the completion of the assignment. So if we go in, they're just listed here. The group contract is due on February 4th, so that should be the first thing you do, and then read the assignment carefully, making note of what needs to be done, what tasks need to be, and the dates in which they need to be done by. Now I'm gonna come up to the top here, because that's part of your navigating tool, weekly learning based on syllabus takes me back here. So as I've noted, 
download, print these documents, and add the open, closed, and due dates to your calendar. Now, I have made some um, support videos. Now, one is an online success tip. It looks at time management, internet connectivity, and supports. Then I also have one on how to use your calendar on your devices, phone, iPhone, or your iPad or your tablet to set up time management dates. And I also have a video in here on how to make PDF documents. And so they're just click and watch. All right, let's look at week one. Now week one, there's the, the quiz that I was telling you about. It's due on the 28th at 5 p.m. It's the quiz based on the video that we're making right now and on your syllabus. So you need to do this quiz. Basically, all you're doing is clicking on it, and your tests will work this way. It's the very same thing. There will be instructions at the top here, something indicating the due date, and then you just click Begin, and one question at a time will pop up for you to respond to. Now, like I said, it's, it's a quiz. It is worth a f a f the same amount as all the rest of the journals, and it's based on this video and your syllabus so please take as many chances at this as you want get as high a grade as you want there are 10 questions and that's it this would be an example of a video i make two sometimes every week it basically keeps the videos from being too long so basically all you do is you click hi hi well then you can make it bigger full screen so you can see it but you might be going well that's a little blurry i don't like that come down over here to the settings i make everything as an hd when you change it now you can see me probably clearly and maybe not as well as you'd like all right so let's go down and get rid of that oops there we go and that's how you do all the videos. So if you don't see HD sitting here, it means that somehow Blackboard has changed it. Just go in and change the setting to HD. All right, let's go back up here. We're gonna go to a journal. We haven't shown you a journal yet. In week two, there's a journal. And here it's closed at January 31st at 5 p.m. It must be done in a PDF if you're going to type it up in a Word document. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go inside and look. I've put some instructions. You must do three paragraphs, not three sentences or three words, three paragraphs. Based on watching these two videos and what do they make you think about. Now, there's no right and wrong with these. It's really about being genuine, in-depth, you know, think about it, and honest about it, and three paragraphs. Now, what you do is you come way up to the top left hand, where it says create a journal entry, and you must put a title in. If it's got an asterisk anywhere on the page, it's what you must do. So you can put in journal two, you can put in whatever you like. Now, if you click down in this box here, you can just type your three paragraphs or more. Your reflection can go right in here and then scroll down and push post entry. But I know that some students would prefer to think about it and will use a Word document perhaps to write up their journal and then post. You can browse and grab your journal. But I would like you to save your Word document or pages document as a PDF. Now remember in the video resources support videos, I have a video on how to make a PDF document. So watch that if you don't know how to make a PDF, but only PDFs being posted will get full grade. If you post a Word document, that's one less mark for not have following the instructions very well, I'm afraid. All right, let's go cancel. So that's how your journals are going to go. Um, at, I will mark all journals at the end of the two week period and they will show up in Grade Center. Okay, I think that's all I really want to show you. I think that gets us off to a good start. Please email me or ask for a virtual WebEx meeting if you have any questions, but always use your email protocol when emailing me and I will surely get back to you. I hope this helps you out a lot, folks. 
Remember to do the quiz. So this video is important to watch and looking at your syllabus is going to be important. All right, everyone. Good luck and we'll see you in the videos. Bye now. Oh, forgot this one important part. If, um, not if, when you want to look at your group for the assignment, you're in a group, and I mentioned it in, in the assignment video, but I didn't show you where to access it. So come on over to Tools. Now, this won't be a very effective demonstration, unfortunately, because I'm not a student, therefore I'm not in the group, although I can get into every group. But when I come down and scroll all the way down, you see groups. If you click on it, now we're not going to see anything in here, but you will, and you should only be seeing the one group that you are a part of. Now what I'm going to do is, for this particular demonstration, I'm going to get out of the student view, and I'm going to go to tools and to groups and there are nine, ten groups all together and there are either two to five persons per group and I've tried to put you in according to your program but that hasn't necessarily worked out for every group alright so this is where inside a group you get access to your file exchange and in that file exchange is where I'd like you to post your assignment bits okay if we come back to weekly learning and let's see we'll scroll down to crisis here as in this week here it's not here now but it will be will be the crisis for your group um, for that assignment and you don't need to change everything that you've done because of the crisis but in the summary that you will post with your assignment you should reflect on the crisis and comment on how that crisis would have affected all of your planning and organization and how that might affect your your um, family of Bill and Ann and, and their two kids okay okay now I think that's a bit better I feel better that I've at least shown you that I hope that helps you out now bye for now and we'll see you in the next video bye bye